Have you ever had that message pop up on your computer that says something like, you're almost out of space and you have to start deleting files? Or maybe you're trying to run a program and it keeps crashing. Or you're opening something up and it literally pops up and says, you have no room, you can't save this. And you think to yourself, I've got this big computer and it's got all these files and I've got the cloud and I've got all these tools. How could I possibly be out of space? And if I am out of space, how do I know what's taking up the space and how to clear it off? That's what we're going to talk about in this video today. I'm Dylan Stewart. They call me the Mac Whisperer. And for the last 20 years, I've made it my passion to simplify technology for the average person so they can do more than they ever thought possible with their computer. In today's video, we're going to start a series of my favorite tools. And this one is huge. This is the tool I use every time I see that message about running out of space. So let's hop onto the computer and let's take a look. The first thing that happens for most people when they get that message is they decide that they're going to go look for themselves to see what's taking up all the space. And the most common way they do that is by coming up to the Apple menu right here and clicking on About This Mac. From this screen, they usually click over to where it says Storage. This is a great tool that Apple's given people to give them a basic understanding of what's on their computer. As you can see here, it shows that I have a one terabyte hard drive and I've only got about 145 gigabytes available. It takes a few moments while it processes and calculates what's on your computer and then it greets you with this pretty colorful bar showing you the breakdown of all the files. So if I move my arrow across them, I can see that Documents is 980 gigabytes, iOS files is 200 gigabytes, Music is 200 gigabytes, and as you continue down this bar, you see things like iCloud Drive, or Podcasts and Others, or System, all of these little files. It's an amazing thing that Apple's given us this ability to see what's on our computer, but it's kind of useless. It doesn't really tell you what you need to know. So when most average users see this on their computer, they immediately start going into their files and deleting things. What's the first place they delete from? Email. As if your email is going to clear up hundreds of gigabytes of space. Well, email's like tiny, tiny, tiny little files. So you could delete thousands of emails and never even make an impact. So that's not really the right way to do it. So there's other tools that we can use that can help us find out what's really available for us to delete. I'm gonna show you my favorite one. It's called Grand Perspective. So I'm gonna go ahead and go right to the Grand Perspective website. I'll include this in my show notes. Grand Perspective is a free app and it's really fantastic. You'll see from this diagram that shows up on their website, this is what it's gonna look like when it shows you what's on your hard drive. So you can go ahead and download it. I've already downloaded it for myself. It is a free app. You can go ahead and click the Download Now button here, which will take you to their download page. It'll take a few moments and then it'll start to download for you. And you can go ahead and install it in your Applications folder. I've already done that. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up for us. When you first open up Grand Perspective, it greets you with this screen, asking if you'd like to repeat a recent scan or do a fresh scan. Keep in mind that if you're running Catalina, you may have to give some approvals the first time that you run it to make sure it's got access to all your files. I've already done that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Scan Other Folder here. Now you can scan a lot of things. I'm very specifically wanting to scan my hard drive. So I scroll down to the Locations area and I click on my hard drive. Now go to your hard drive, just click on it, and go directly into Scan. This is gonna take a little bit of time. Depending on the size of your hard drive, the speed of your computer, and how many other programs are open, this could take one minute or 40. Just depends on your hard drive, and it takes the time that it takes. So when Grand Perspective has finished scanning your hard drive, you're gonna see an image that looks a lot like this one. It's like a patchwork quilt with all these crazy colors. I know it's a little overwhelming, but let me explain it. Each of these little boxes that you see, each of these little squares represents a file on your computer. The size of the square represents the size of that file. So a bigger square means this is taking up more space on your hard drive. 
Also, as you highlight a particular square, I'm just going to move my arrow onto this yellow one here. You're going to see it highlight that square and also highlighting some of the other files that are in that same folder. You can see the little outline that goes around that whole section. That means that this big file is inside of this folder with all of these other files. If you look on the bar that runs across the bottom, it'll even tell you where the file is, what it's called, and how big it is. In this case of this yellow block, we can see that this is a file inside of Dropbox that's an old photo library. It takes up 31 gigs, which is a lot of storage space if that's an accident. In my case, this is an intentional old photo library that I keep on Dropbox, so I know that it's there. But what else is on Dropbox? Notice these big red blocks here. As I highlight them, I can see, oh, this is a set of courses I bought from Great Courses that are sitting in my Dropbox account on my computer. As you scan around this, you're going to notice big clumps of things. So let's look up here. As we see this big clump of all these tiny, tiny files, it's a big square unto itself. Each file is inside that folder. That's my iTunes library. That's all of the music and movies that I've ever downloaded. You'll notice most of them are pretty tiny because a song is pretty tiny but some of them are a little bigger like this red block here. That's actually a video that I downloaded that's also on my hard drive. For me, I wanna keep that video there, but if you're looking to save storage space, deleting videos is a great place to do it, and we're gonna talk about that in just a moment. As I look over at some of these other files over here, we can see that these are my Dropbox files, and these happen to be client videos that I've got. There's a bunch of them. Well. Knowing that they're taking up space on my hard drive is a great thing because using Dropbox, I can send them back to the cloud and save local storage space. In another video, I'm going to show you how to make the most out of your storage space by using Dropbox and iCloud. But in this case, this is just about identifying what's there. As you see some big things like this big thing here, that's a Zoom file of a particular video that I've, I've saved. That's a 10 gigabyte file. If you use Zoom and you're recording your calls, you may want to delete some of them or put them on an external hard drive. When you realize what's taking up the space, it becomes that much easier to understand what you can do with it. So let's say that I didn't need this video anymore. All I have to do is right click and it shows me this option here to reveal it in the Finder. When I click Reveal in Finder, it pulls up my Finder and shows me exactly where that file is, right here. And it's a 10 gigabyte file. If I don't need it, what a great way to delete some space. You know, a lot of the things on my computer are videos. On your computer, you're gonna find other things. What are you gonna find? Well, that depends on your computer. But the most common places I see extra file size, people leave stuff on the desktop all the time, all these big files and videos. Or maybe your downloads folder has been completely filled with stuff. Let's take a look at the downloads folder. I'm going to go ahead and open it up here. And we're going to go straight into downloads here. And in my case, I don't have anything in there. Why? Because the downloads folder can accumulate all sorts of files that you didn't mean to keep. You just meant to download them and then deal with them, but you forgot where they were. So take a look in your downloads folder and anything that you know you don't need, get rid of it. There's tons of lost space in the downloads folder. Okay, so we've gone ahead and gone to the downloads folder. Where else can we find a little bit of space? Well, I always tell people to go into podcasts and they will say to me, you know, Dylan, I don't really use podcasts or I used to listen to podcasts, but I don't do it on my computer. That's okay. Your computer might not know that. The first thing you want to do is go into podcasts and click on the downloaded section. All of these files that you see in the downloaded section, they're taking up space on your computer. So if you aren't listening to them on the computer, you should probably remove them. It's very, very easy for you to click on the three dots that you see to the right of any of these and remove it. It'll ask you if you want to just remove the download or delete it from the library altogether. And the answer is delete it from the library altogether. Get it out of there. Get it out of there so you can save your space. This might also be an opportunity for you to look at the shows that you have subscribed to, and maybe it's time to unsubscribe from them if you're not getting value out of them. If you're no longer looking at them, you can come in here and you can unsubscribe. In this case, I've already unsubscribed from that. I can come in here and I can make those changes as need be so that it's not grabbing new files and downloading them all the time and taking up space. The second place I tell people to look is inside of the Apple TV app. So 
when Apple upgraded to Catalina, they took the program iTunes and they split it into three different programs. Podcasts, which we just looked at, Apple TV, which is where all your videos went, and music, which is where all your songs and music videos went. By coming here, I can go to the downloaded section in Apple TV and it's going to show me, holy crap, my son downloaded DuckTales on this computer. No wonder my computer is so full. And I can right click on the three dots and I can say delete from library or remove download. Either way, the difference between deleting from library and removing the download is that one removes it completely from your computer and the other just removes the reference files for it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete that from my library and I'm going to say delete TV shows. I'm not going to hide them because I know my son loves DuckTales and he's going to watch it all over again. So I'm just going to delete them from here and move it to the trash. It's important to take that last step of moving it to the trash, otherwise it's still going to be on your hard drive. And the next place to look when you're trying to clear up storage space is to look for old iPhone backup files. You know, when you plug your phone into your computer to synchronize it or to charge it, depending on your settings, Apple may be automatically saving a backup file of your whole computer. In a lot of cases, people have backup files from computers from years ago that they're carrying around and they don't realize it. Here's how you do it. Take your phone, Take your sync cable, go ahead and plug in to your computer. Now on Catalina, the iPhone no longer synchronizes through iTunes. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up a finder window like this, and you're going to scroll down until you see your phone on the left side there. You won't see it if you didn't plug it in, so make sure you plug it in first. I'm going to click on that, and it's going to open up to show me the settings for synchronization for my iPhone. Be patient. If you haven't plugged in in a while, it could take 5-10 minutes for it to sort itself out and present you with this screen. But once it does, there's this little section here called Manage Backups. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And what you're going to see here is all of these old backup files that are taking up space on your computer. So you can very easily come in, take a look and see which ones you don't need anymore. In most cases, if it's more than a year old, you're safe to delete it. So as I look at some of these and I've got multiple backups, I'm going to remove this one by clicking delete backup. And I'm also going to delete this backup here and get rid of that as well. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this one too. I really only need one iPhone backup. You might want to save a couple of them just to be on the safe side, but don't forget this takes up tons of space. So go ahead and delete any that you don't need. The last place we're going to look for files that could easily be deleted is in the music app. So I'm going to go ahead and open the music app and I'm going to go up to where it says view here and I'm going to have it show me only downloaded music. If you're an Apple Music subscriber or have iTunes Match on your computer, you can easily remove any of these songs and remove them from your computer and still have access to them from the cloud. So if I didn't want to carry the space of some of these songs, I could easily right click on any song and select remove download. When I do that, the song itself is going to stay in my music app, but it's going to stay in the cloud, saving me additional space. So if you follow these steps, clear out anything that you've got in podcasts, in Apple TV, in the music app, and saved iPhone files, you can then empty your trash and save all sorts of space. But the first place to go is always the app Grand Perspective because in that beautiful quilt, it can show you exactly where your big files are and help you know where to go to save the most space in the least time. I'm Dylan Stewart. I'm the Mac Whisperer. If you like this tip, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. We bring in new tips and tricks and tutorials every week, teaching you how to get more out of all your Apple products than you ever thought possible. And I'll see you in the next lesson.